much. Joining me now is Martha McCallum, host of The Story. Martha, of course, you've been covering this all day long. There was one thing that Kate right. said today that I can personally empathize with. Watch this. As you can imagine, this has taken time. It has taken me time to recover from major surgery in order to start my treatment. But most importantly, it has taken us time to explain everything to George, Charlotte and Louis in a way that's appropriate for them and to reassure them that I'm going to be okay. We hope that you'll understand that as a family, we now need some time, space and privacy while I complete my treatment. Martha, I, I can't imagine, really, uh, as, a, as a mother now, but when I had my own battle with breast cancer, I hadn't had my children yet, mm -hmm. but I still was like wanted privacy. I didn't want people to say, oh, how are you doing? Even though people meant well, you wanted to have a little cocoon of, you know, let me just deal with this. So I totally understand what she's saying there. Take care of home front first. Yeah. Well, you've experienced it, Laura, and I spoke with my sister who's also experienced it right. today, and she said exactly the same thing. She said, I needed to know that I was on the road to being okay and that I had sort of my arms wrapped around how this was all going to work before I could start talking to other people about it. And I think that is so such a personal experience, and I think that's what we saw today from the Princess of Wales. She was very direct, she was gracious, and she was personal. And she was actually the person that I think um, everyone who has watched her evolve through this process believe that she is. And there has been a lot thrown at them recently. And they're, you know, it, it's revealed that they're going through what a lot of families go through. And now they've got two people in the family who are battling this issue. I think it's, you know, they, they shared a little, right? I mean, when Charles, Cancer was diagnosed. We didn't learn what kind it is. We don't know exactly what his treatment is. But both of them went in for what they thought was one thing that turned out mm. to be another. And that, of course, is a fear that a lot of us, everyone, I think, shares. You know, when you have tests coming back and all of this. So I, I do think it was a shock, clearly. Um, and I think it put a lot of this discussion to rest. And I think it, you know, put people, Rishi Sunak, the prime minister, commented on, you know, how difficult and how, how, rude, really. So many people had been in the run-up to this. But Hillary makes a good point about the timing. And the timing was theirs. The timing wasn't pressed by the fact that everyone was circulating these vicious rumors. It was pressed by the fact that today is the day before the children's Easter break begins. And so now they could make this statement, you know, hunker down and be together and not have the kids have to go back to school and be questioned about it, perhaps. Um, Martha, the New York Post is reporting that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle had no idea about Kate Middleton's cancer, an insider saying that trust has been broken. Um, well, you're, and they have a very, you know, they have a yeah. one-line statement, essentially. Well, I think we'll put it up on the screen. That yeah. was basically, we send our well wishes and to the family, and we hope, we wish health and healing for Kate and the family and hope they are able to do so privately and in peace. Mm -hmm. um, Kind of short statement for I'm, I'm not, your yeah. you know, I, wife or your brother. <laughs> I'm not at all right. I, I, I mean, but this is a very broken relationship. And they, Harry and Meghan have made horrible accusations against yep. William and Kate and the rest of the family. Um, so it's not at all surprising to me that they weren't given a heads up about this situation. I think that, you know, they were recently dropped from the royal family website. You know, there had been sort of a peripheral mention of them for a while, but that's not there anymore either. And, and I think in many ways, this is going to be not the time when uh, William is likely to want to reach out and patch things up. Um, you know, maybe that comes at some point, but it, it doesn't feel like uh, this statement from them was, you know, really, it didn't even need to be public. <laughs> um, they yeah. could have just reached out privately. Um, yeah. But, you know, it is what it is. PR. Martha, a lot of the uh, people, and you mentioned some of this, and going back and, and looking at some of the comments that have been made by people uh, about her and about the royal family, uh, we're just so... And, and poor taste is, is one thing today, but they were cruel. And they're from some of the late night hosts and comments about what she was really doing and what she was really up to. And it kind of makes us all, I think, take a pause and realize no matter what we think about this issue or that issue, these are human beings. 
And we are all like here for a very short period of time on this planet. And maybe a, a moment of humility and patience uh, is in order for you know all of us, but especially these, these cruel people. The comments yeah. were awful. I mean, I think there's a long history of poking fun at the royal family, and I think there's a place for that in some ways, um, especially in, in England, where, uh, you know, they have their own relationship over all of these years with it. Um, in this case, it does feel um, pretty ugly at this moment, especially after her very heartfelt announcement today. But I also think that when the, that vacuum existed, it a lot of people sort of rushed to fill it with their ideas of what was going on in this society that we live in, unfortunately, that is the way that, that things happen and people were um, kind of filling in the blanks on their own. But um, yeah, it was un unfortunate. And I, again, I, I don't think that that pushed her to this moment. I think the timing was very much on her own schedule in terms of her own process with her treatments and the children. Uh, she kind of does things her own way. And I think we saw that today. Martha, thank you so much. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.